shot. Just a little defensive push. And it's flashed away to the point boundary. Shot. Moody has seized on that just fractionally down the leg side. He's given it the treatment. What a brilliant stroke. There's uh, very little difference there. Wish to show up a wicket in hand after 20 overs. This is where the acceleration came for Warwickshire with Brian Lara. And uh, Worcestershire have two top class batsmen in, in uh, Hick and Moody. That's a class stroke. A slightly quicker delivery from Reeve. Two very good strokes past square leg played by Hick in the last three overs. Big day for the bins. That's the difference between an ordinary player and a very good player. It's simply timing. Another cracking stroke. At Aston Small has bowled against fine players in his time. In test matches. Followed that shorter ball with one really well up, forcing the drive, but what a drive. Big shout, outside edge, and quite a jubilant response from Warwickshire. Met with stony silence. Umpire blues. And a nod of denial from Graham Hick. Well, it's impossible for us to tell. The fine stroke. The outfield's slow, but not as slow as it was earlier today when it was feeling the effects of the overnight rain. And Roger Toos has been expensive in that first over after the tea interval. 12 came from that, it's now 96 for 2. The big hit. The wonderful striker of the ball, Tom Moody. It's relaxed as well. they're starting to flow these two players Moody has just hit uh, Smith for six and Graham Hick has played the most delightful pull shot off um, Dermot Reeve from the nursery end for Graham Hick and it is a very very good innings 24 for Tom Moody and this is the partnership Warwickshire must break if they're to win this match I picked that all right it was a no ball for a start a slower ball from Dermot Reeve and Tom Moody latched onto it straight away Interesting thing is the no balls start to creep in, the wides start to creep in, there have been plenty of those since T.
deliberately ploughed in short Moody has rushed it away through midwicket a wonderful stroke that's the second he's played in uh, precisely that fashion of Paul Smith Smith hasn't been able to get the bounce he needs Moody is in good touch and Hick has uh, played a terrific innings in old-fashioned uh, cricket it might have been a 12 it went so far well, that ball has uh, disappeared now they'll make the choice of another one you very rarely see one hit out of Lords. Yes, no, throw, oh, miss. What might have been and what was. Graham Hicks setting off for something close to the kamikaze. Neil Smith very quickly in and uh, that's really close he, barely in the frame Graham Hick 47 from 16 and the run rate required drops <laughs> partnership of 150 comes up between Tom Moody and Graham Hick Interesting double on the left of your screen, former Australian Prime Minister, Mr. Bob Hawke, right of your screen, Mr. A.C. Smith, Executive Director of the Teston County Cricket Board. Oh, that's beautifully played and placed. And that's down the hill towards the old tavern stand there. Another cracking shot. Straight to square this time. Uh, this batting has been a great treat for the spectators who turned up on the second day. It wasn't that long ago, Richie, just over a year, that Graham Hick couldn't get a game for England. It's a wonderful stroke. That's, that's a hell of a stroke. It's given that the tennis smash. Be a happy balcony. Stroke. No bludgeoning there. That was uh, a perfectly played on drive, only a yard or so to the side of the stumps at the bowler's end. Magnificent stroke. Dermot Reeve is still able to smile, even though uh, they're not going to win leg spinner. And that's it. The victory and a very very well earned one too for Worcestershire fine performance from Graham Hick and Tom Moody and all the rest of the Worcestershire side who played so well to keep Warwickshire down to 223 problems yesterday for the Warwickshire side after they were put into bat they fought back well they the pitch had flattened out
and from that point of view it was uh, slightly in favour of Worcestershire but a very good performance, 693 and Moody 88. Well, deep foundations were laid by Curtis and Dolavira. They really took a look at the bowling, and so did Hick and Moody, for that matter, before they really got in and punished the attack, expanded their stroke play, and gave us a demonstration of superb attacking cricket. 227 for two. Tough for the bowlers.